everybody. Today I'm going to give you a first look at SK Tools brand new X-Frame ratcheting wrenches. Now I first saw these last year in November when I was in Las Vegas at SEMA because at the SK booth they had a real nice presentation set up with some videos playing which explained exactly how the mechanism worked inside of here as well as some hands-on demonstrations so everyone could see for themselves. Now the first thing you're going to notice when you actually use one of these is the fact that it has such very low swing arc. And in just one rotation, it's going to have 216 positions. If you compare that, let's say, to the brand new Gear Wrench 120 XPs, in one rotation on those, they're going to have 120 positions. So this is coming in at almost double that amount. You're going to be able to get into some very tight places and loosen or tighten fasteners very easily where just nothing else is going to work. And really, if you look at any ratcheting wrench on the market today, this is going to come in with the absolute lowest swing arc across the board. So what I want to do in this video is really show you the different features of this, and then we're going to see how it compares to some of the other brands. Here's a comparison of versus a gear wrench, a Proto, as well as just a cheapo Master Grip, which was one from Costco when ratcheting wrenches just first came out. Now I do want to point out the fact that out of the four, it is the longest one, and it does have no offset. So this end is not curved up, and this end is not curved up unlike the Proto, which is offset. So if you see what I mean by that, here's the Proto, here's the offset on the box end. Where if we look at the SK wrench, it has no offset. So it's gonna be able to get into some places that the Proto cannot, just like the Proto would be able to get in some places where the SK could not. So it's just really a personal preference type of thing, but they chose not to do an offset on the actual SK wrench. The other thing I wanna note is the fact that it is the only one that has this type of beam design. So we can see that the gear wrench, the Proto, as well as the Master Grip just have solid beam designs where the SK does have openings on either end. Now I thought this was just for cosmetic reasons, but after seeing the presentation in Las Vegas, they really did some heat mapping. And what they did is they actually bent these to the point that they actually broke. And when they had the design of this wrench, similar to let's say the gear wrench, where it was a solid beam going through, the point of failure was right here at the actual end of the beams. By changing it to this design, it throws that load or that pressure off and it's able to withstand a lot more force without changing to or adding a lot of weight to the wrench. Now the other thing I want to point out, the Proto does have a spline design. The other two have a 12 point design and then the SK has a 6 point design. So really out of the four wrenches, the 6 point design is going to be the least likely to strip out any fasteners. Now when we take a closer look at the open end of the SK wrench, you can see that there are teeth machined in. And what that's going to do is give you a non-slip gripping effect, much like the right grip wrench or even a snap-on flank drive plus. So what that means is you'll be able to remove very tight, stuck, seized, or even damaged fasteners. It's not going to round the corners off, and you're going to be able to remove them much easier than you would with just a standard wrench. And you're not going to run that risk of damaging them when you use the open end of this. Now probably one of the best design features of the new SK ratcheting wrench is going to be the actual ratcheting box end. Now they created an extremely low swing arc with this because they are using a 72 tooth design that's working in conjunction with six paws. Now that's going to give you a total of 216 possible positions in just one rotation and it's going to give you that 1.7 degree swing arc which is the absolute lowest out of any ratcheting wrench on the market today. So what I've done is really just set up this demonstration to help you understand this a little better. This center portion we'll imagine is the box end that you would insert let's say a nut or a bolt into. So the paws are going to be represented by these brass hinges and what we'll see is that two of them are going to be engaged and four will be disengaged at any one time. Now you can see if this is rotated slightly, these two would disengage, the next two are going to engage, and so on and so forth. So what this is going to do is give you very even pressure on both sides of the mechanism. It's not going to allow it to strip or slip and it's going to give it a lot of strength when you're using this on a daily basis. 
Now to demonstrate the extremely low swing arc, I do have the SK as well as a standard flex head gear wrench here. And I just used one of those hinges that I used in the last presentation to show you how the paws worked. But the nice thing is that there's a very small space in between the two actual hinges that the pin is going to go through. And this is actually going to give you a very good representation of a tight area in a vehicle. Now if we take the gear wrench, slip it onto the fastener, you can see if we move left to right, there's absolutely zero engagement. So I'll go ahead and zoom in on this real close now so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. And then we're gonna try that same test with the SK. So here's a closer up view of the gear wrench engaged on that nut. You can see the two obstructions in the way that are gonna prevent it from actually moving very much. So what we'll do is take a look at the nut. We're gonna move the wrench back and forth and you can see that because of this very low swing, it's not enough to actually engage the next tooth on the mechanism. So at this point, the ratcheting end of this wrench would be completely ineffective at removing or installing this fastener. Now, if we take that same nut, we place the SK wrench on it, then you can see it's also in between the two parts of the hinge. And now we'll try to move it to see if it can engage it. So moving it one side to the other, you can see that it is moving that nut. And if we listen, it sounds like there's four or five engagements in this small amount of space. So really for it to actually move this, it could actually do it in a space probably about half that wide. And you can listen real close at the multiple engagements and you can see the nut moving. So that is where that low swing arc is really gonna make a difference. Let's say you're down beside an engine and you have obstructions in the way, this is gonna be able to get in there, remove or tighten a fastener, where just a standard ratcheting wrench is gonna fail. So now you've had a first look at SK Tools brand new X-Frame ratcheting wrenches for yourself. That extremely low swing arc, as well as the non-slip design on the open end, really do make these a good option for most people when they're looking just for either a ratcheting wrench or just one wrench set to go with because it is going to cover both angles. Now the other thing I want to point out, this is not reversible. So it does not have a selector switch. You will physically have to turn the wrench over to change directions. So let's say you're in an extremely tight situation where you're backing a bolt off and there's a chance of it really just bottoming out. You do want to keep that in mind so you don't get this stuck. There's no way to actually change directions once you start on something. Now, in many cases, that's never going to be an issue. And in those situations where it is, you could always just use a standard wrench. And then you don't have to worry about getting this one stuck. Now, it is 100% made in the USA. And it does carry a lifetime warranty against manufacturer defects. So if you ever do have a problem with it, SK Tools will replace this for you free of charge. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. And thanks for watching.